Good day, great day, guys. Day beautiful soul, the Jesus Preneur here back again with another video. If you are new to my channel, it is not an accident or a coincidence that God led this video on your news feed right now. You need to pay attention and watch this word to the end. Even as I am speaking to you, my spirit is on fire. I feel the presence of God so heavy, so strong. So let's start in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your platform, social media, Father God. Thank you that you are the God above the algorithms. Thank you, Father, that you went out of your way, Father, that you did something unusual and different, Father, so that the individual on the other side of this device could hear and receive this word and receive it in their spirit, Father God. I pray now that you counsel every demonic witch that is working, Father, to ensure that this word, that this seed does not get planted into their life. I thank you now for uprooting, for destroying, for taking back uh, everything that the enemy tried to steal from them and allowing them to hallelujah hear your word father to receive your spirit father to hear your spirit speak to them deep down in their soul father for opening up their mind to the things of god father god for opening up their spirit to be open to you father and closed off to the devil father we thank you for the influx of your anointing we thank you father that this is your channel that i am in partnership with you and that hallelujah it is through you and in you that i live move and have my being father i ask now that you decrease me down to nothing so that your spirit that that your glory, that your power, that your anointing may flow through me, hallelujah, through my mouth and through the ears of those, your children. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God has a word for you. You will know if this word is for you because it will speak to your spirit. As a prophet, as an evangelist, as someone that is led by the spirit of God, God will grace me to connect with you in a way to where it may be a portion of this word that connects with you from start to finish. It may be just a portion of this word that connects with you. Whichever part of the word that speaks to you, take it and receive it take it back to god and receive it in the spirit not in the natural this is not nothing that you will understand with your natural mind okay the bible says take off the old and put on the mind of christ uh, this mind denounces thank you holy spirit and debunks every myth of the enemy concerning your life and so this word you will know that this word is for you no one will have to listen when god speaks god does doesn't really need to confirm what he says but by God's graces we are able to receive confirmation so that we will not fall in the ways of the enemy did you need confirmation to know that you were wrong for something that you did or did you immediately know that you were wrong do not allow the enemy to uproot or to snatch or to steal or to kill or to destroy a good thing in your life the word of the Lord says that this next level is going to require all of your faith. This, this next level is going to require all of your faith. God says, tell my people that this next level is going to require all of your faith. Emotionless faith is what God is asking of you. Emotionless faith. Listen, this prophetic word is also like a teaching. So there will be teachings within this word of God as well emotionless faith you must possess emotionless faith emotionless faith is not faith that requires your emotion your mental capacity or your understanding there is nothing in this earth realm that will be able to attach to the level of faith that god is requiring out of you listen this is the type of faith that's radical meaning it does not make sense to the carnal mind it does not make sense father Oh, Jesus, Father, it doesn't make sense to family members. It doesn't make sense to what I had planned. Listen, this 
emotionless faith is needed for your next level. It's required. It's not going to make sense. You can look at what you did last month, uh, last year, yesteryear, yesterday, and try to uh, size it up with what God is calling you to do now, with who God is calling you to be now. The person that God is calling you to be has nothing to do with who you were yesterday, how you responded yesterday, what you did yesterday. Listen, I'm talking to you. This new level consists of a new mindset. And in order for you to operate in this new level, it's going to require faith, faith, the faith the, this is pure faith. This is not faith that, that, includes emotions. This faith does not include emotions. This faith does not require emotions. This faith is a blind faith. This faith is a faith that you cannot see. You don't know what's next, but you trust uh, that what is coming is greater than what was. God began to show me people of God a vision. And in this vision, there was an individual, a woman. She was pushing up against the door. There was a door, y'all. This door was so large and it represented an opportunity. This door was so large, y'all. It represented the depthness and revelation. Hallelujah. How many of you know that the opportunity is not in what man gives you, but it's in the revelation that God does through you? Come on, somebody. And so there's this large door. The door is larger than life. The door is so big that it looked like something that Goliath could walk through. It was literally a gigantic door, and this door was heavy. And so in the vision that God showed, me this individual was pushing pressing using all of her strength uh, to open this door to open this door to open this door god wants to remind you that the door is going to open but you have to press uh, don't be dismayed at the size of the door in the vision the woman did not even give it much thought uh, that the door was almost 30 times larger than her she did not think about that for a moment she knew that since the door was in front of her she had to press her way through in order for this door to be open come on you ought to type in the comment section emotionless faith she was tired she was sweating she was exuding and exerting all of her energy but she could not let her emotions your emotions are attached to the way that she you feel she did not elect or she did not allow her feelings she did not allow her tiredness she did not allow the unknown she she did not allow her feelings and her emotions uh, to stop her from pressing. This level of faith is supernatural. Even now, as you're listening to this video, you feel the presence of God so strongly that it feels like a cloud has wrapped itself around you. Do not be afraid. This is supernatural territory. This is the territory where you are protected. So lift your hands now. The spirit of the Lord is getting ready to meet you right where you are like never before. Open up your mouth on the count of three and receive the presence of God right there where you are. One, two, three. Send Holy Spirit. Descend Holy Spirit. Descend right where they're watching from. And so in the vision, this woman got the door open. She pressed and pushed. I mean, there's sweat coming from her forehead. Sweat producing from the follicles in her hair, in her head. She was sweating, but she did not stop. And so, person of God, listen. And so, people of God, once this woman got the door open, she stood in awe. Because it looked like almost a completely different world, a completely different universe, a completely different, like it was so out of this world. Woo! It was so heavenly. But because it was something she never seen before, she almost got starstruck. And so she's looking at darkness. I had to write this down and I said, Father, what did that represent? How come once this woman opened the door, I'm looking down at my notes. How come once this woman opened the door, how come she was so starstruck? How come she didn't, how, like, why, how come there was darkness when she opened this door? 
God said, because this next level, this next dimension, this new spiritual authority, this new life, because remember, everything happens in the spirit realm first. You've been feeling like you're living a new life. You've been feeling like you're ready to leave your old habits. You've been feeling very energized, but you know, it's been a lot of things going on, but you're feeling good about this new life that you're starting for yourself. Uh, God said, listen, don't get confused. This, is, this did not happen at the grocery store when you decided to buy different food. This did not happen when you looked at your bank account and said, I'm tired of spending money eating uh, eating fast food. This, 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 this did not just start when that person left your life or when you left that person's life. God said, this started in the spirit realm. I need you to understand that there are angels in heaven that are fighting for you. There are angels in heaven going to God, going before it, going before the Lord on your behalf. This started in the spirit realm. I need you to come on up in your understanding. I need you to come on up in your thinking. This is not nothing that started in the earth realm. This started in the spirit realm. And God said, tell them this next dimension of my glory that's getting ready to be released in their life, tell them it's going to require all of their faith, every ounce of faith. Uh, I asked God, I said, God, God said, yes, daughter. I said, God, how come when this woman opened up the door, it was darkness, she was met with darkness. God said, I wanted her to see darkness. She could not see. Her sight was not fully restored. Because I need her to trust me. God is opened up this door for you in the spirit realm. And you have not been able to see the full manifested glory of what's taking place. Because your sight is not right. Many of you did the three day fast with us. And Holy Spirit revealed to me. Last month, uh, the importance of the carrots. The carrots were prophetic. The carrots said, God, it's a prophetic gesture because carrots are good for vision. The keratin and the vitamins that are in the carrots, they're good for vision. They help you see. You've been thinking that because of what you see determines how things go. That's not how it works in the spirit of God. You have to almost become blind in the earth realm to see in the spirit realm. You cannot rely on what you see with your own eyes. I'm telling you right now, and I'm talking to you, that God says this next level that you have entered into is going to require your full faith. In order for your sight to be restored, what activates that is faith. Faith activates a restored sight. This is so good to me. I'm preaching better than y'all commenting. I'm preaching better than y'all liking. I'm preaching better than y'all sharing and, and subscribing. Hear me in the spirit. It is your faith. My God today. That restores your sight. Many of you have been going to God and praying to God. God, I want to see differently. God, I need to see this for my business. I need to see this for my ministry. I need to see this for kingdom spot. God, I want to see this. I've been going through the same things. God, I need to see this. I need to see that. But your faith hasn't been where it needs to be. This is a warning to bring your faith up. This is not this is also encouragement that God is going out of his way to bring your faith up so that you can receive. You've been praying and asking God for things that you haven't even had the faith for. So what is God doing in God's great grace and God's great mercy? Remember, in a lot of my earlier teachings, I've been teaching what is happening on earth in this season because of what's being released from heaven. There is a very peculiar grace that's being dispensated on the human race. This human race, the ones that will experience it are the ones whom God have chose for such a time as this. This is not the same grace that took place when Moses was alive. This is the grace that's taking place post Pentecost for this generation to receive more of God's glory in their life. And so because of this grace that God has dispensated, this dispensation of God's grace, God is literally causing the earth realm to respond to what's happening in the heaven. That's why you can't rely on what's happening in your earth realm. You have to rely on what's happening in the heaven realm. And God sent me here to let you know know that your faith is going to restore your sight walk with me if you will to the word of God when we have the man that was blind he did not receive his sight just because he wanted it 
He received his sight because he had faith for it. It does not matter what you want. What matters is what you have faith for. What do you have faith for? What do you have faith for? Let me help you. You having faith cannot be, oh God, I have faith that I'm going to be a billionaire. Your faith has to actualize here on earth. That means when you're ready to cry, when you're ready to give up the towel, when you're ready to throw in the towel, where you, when you're ready to give up on the race, you got to remind yourself of what God said. Even when nothing looks like what God said. You're homeless. If God says he's going to bless you with the house, then your faith needs to actualize. What does it mean to have actualized faith? My God, I'm teaching good. What does it mean to have actualized faith? To have actualized faith means that what you believe for, you begin to speak and you begin to see it in the spirit realm. And so everything around you does not look like what's around you. It looks like what's above you. It looks like what's ahead of you. When When your desire starts looking like your design, then you'll meet destiny. God, why am I preaching like this? I hear you, Lord. You said your people need to hear. Your people need to hear the truth. They've been believing the lies. It's time for your, listen, it's time for God's people to hear the truth. We rebuke this distracting hair in the name of Jesus. I wish I had some braids. I got faith that I'm going to get blessed to, to get my hair braided. Because this, 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 this is this wig is distracting, but we're gonna stay focused. And so this next level that God is taking you to is going to require all of your faith, not some of it. If you have this much faith, then this is how much faith is going to require. If you have this much faith. That's all the faith that it requires. You can't fool God. God knows how much faith you have. Don't be walking around here like, oh, you're big and bad and your faith is this big. But you're trying to give God this big of faith and you don't even have that. This all you got. Give God what you got. God said if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, that you will be able to move mountains. Jesus didn't weep because Lazarus died. Jesus weeped because the women in the house did not have faith in who Jesus was. Jesus wasn't crying about a death that he already had the power to, he had the power to raise him from the dead. He knew that God could do anything. He cried because they was, they was trying, they was, they was playing Jesus like Jesus was who he said he was. Don't let your family speak death on you. Don't let your past come up and condemn you. Don't let anything that you did or did not know. Listen, I don't know who this word is for, but whoever it's for is speaking to you. You feel the presence of God. The presence of God, the spirit of God is shaking you up in ways that you haven't felt in a long time. This ain't no happenstance. This is the spirit of God. The spirit of God dwells on the, in, in, it lives in us. The spirit of God dwells here. Don't hear me. Don't hear the Jesus preneur. Don't hear Miss J. I need you to hear the spirit of the Lord. I need you to receive this in your spirit because God says the only way that your sight will be restored is if you have faith. Don't you know the one that gave you the strength to press is going to be the same one that gives you the sight to see? There is nothing that's too hard for God. I know right now you don't see it. I know you don't see it. It. You've been be being preached to. You've been preaching to yourself in the mirror. You've been journaling. You've been writing. You've been saying all of these things and you don't see it. God said, I got it set up like that for a reason. Because if you saw it, you wouldn't be using faith. It wouldn't require faith. I'm telling you the truth. This next level is going to require faith. It's not going to require your mind, your knowledge, your skills, your looks, your gifts. Whether you got them or you don't got them. It's not about that. God is blessing those who believed in him. The Bible said blessed is the woman who believed. Ble who she believed that God will fulfill his promises to her. Do you believe? Come on, ask yourself that. Do you believe? And if you don't believe, then we got some work to do. We need to be praying every day. Not for anything else other than God give me the belief. 
Give me the belief system that this next level is going to require of me. Give me the faith that I need to fulfill the plans that you have for me in my future. I need faith. I don't need more money. I need faith. Come on, you ought to open up your mouth. I know you're holding the phone or watching me from the television, but I need you to take this thing and make it personal. I need you to open up your mouth and I need you to say, God, give me faith. I'm sorry for asking for money. I'm sorry for asking for more friends. I'm sorry for asking for another job. I'm sorry for asking for another business idea. I'm sorry for asking for all of these things that you've already given me when the reality is I need to activate what I already have. God, give me faith because my sight needs to be restored. Who am I talking to? It's been hard for you to see the things that God's been saying because you do not have faith for it. But on today, you've seen this video because God wants to remind you and encourage you and edify you and empower you and let you know that God is going to restore your sight. But the only way that your sight is going to be restored is if you have faith for it. That's the prayer. It's, listen, I know it's not all the little fancy things. The prayer is God. Give me the faith that I need for this next level. If the word of the Lord that God gave me, the prophetic word of the word of the Lord that he gave for us is. Let me turn to it. This level requires faith. That means that you need to pray for the for the level of faith that this level requires. You don't get a word from God and then start praying the opposite or start praying for something else and saying, you know, Lord, give me a husband, give me this, give me this. No, 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 no. You pray for what God says is needed. Ah, this is so good. This is revelation. You pray. This is helping somebody. This is helping you. I need you to share this word. I need you to share this word, share this word, share, share, share. Share it, share it, share it on your page. Share it with your mom, your dad, your friends, your sister, your brother, your cousin. I don't care if y'all haven't talked in a while. Share this word with them. And I don't care if y'all just got off the phone. Share it with them anyway. Share this word with, with your business friends, with your pastor, with your leader. With, with Share it, share it. Save it in your phone. Download. This is a very, very, very deep word of the Lord. And the Lord is saying to you. God, let me break this down. Let me break down a prophetic word real quick. When God gives a prophetic word, it's always attached to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Which means it's always attached to the state of your soul. Which means it's always attached to other people because there are other people attached to your soul. So your salvation, although you have to work it out for yourself, the Bible says work out your own soul. Salvation is not just for you. Because what Abraham did we're still reaping the benefits. Everybody wants to talk about curses and witches and all of that. I, listen, all right, great. But they can't, they, they ain't got nothing on me. No matter what dart is thrown, it can't reach. There is a firewall of protection around me and I am literally untouchable. That's how you have to talk to yourself. That's how you have, listen, that's your faith level. It don't matter what happened. I don't care what it looks like. I am untouchable. You want to listen. God just gave us that for free. Put that in the comment section. Say, I am untouchable. No devil can touch me. Nothing can harm me because I'm walking in obedience. Listen, Job couldn't even, look, Job was touched and wasn't even touched. What was Job's response? He bowed down to his knees. You're living for a reason. Job's life could not be taken. You're not about to die. You're not going to die. You think that God brought you this far to leave you? There is more. You are in another level. Listen, God says this level requires faith. So if God says to you, this level requires faith, for one, you ought to get excited because this means that you are on a new level. No. New level, divine revelation. New level, new revelation. New level, new meditation on the word of God. New level. New level. Yeah, I'm on a new level, but I'm not worried about a new devil because honestly, there's no new tricks that the enemy can do. He's been doing the same thing since over 42 generations ago. There is nothing new about what the enemy does. Everything that the enemy does is old. It's outdated. That's why your habits and cycles are like this. They're called cycles for a reason. They're doing the same thing over and over again. Different face, same case. So let's be for real. Devil, talk to Let them know. Your schemes have been... Plot it out. You've been scoped out. The microscope is on you because we figured you out. The enemy has been figured out. Quit, quit, no more mind games with the devil. 
You already know what he's going to say to you. You already know he's going to try to make you feel connected. Get up. Keep going. Why? Because you're on a new level. I'm 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 on a new level. No, I'm not scared. Because no, I'm not dead. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. You cannot kill me. I'm alive. I'm on a new level. Y'all better get some. This 2024. <laughs> this the year. This is the year of more. More. Come on. More. 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 Put that in the comment section. More. 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 I want more. More for me. More for my family. More for my life. More for my vision. More for my heart. More for my joy. More for my spirit. More for my soul. More. 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 2024 is the year for more. This is blessing me. So, the prophetic word of the Lord, it is the level, this level requires faith, emotionless faith. I ain't got time for you doing what you used to do. Because you're not in the same place you used to be. I want to tell y'all something so bad, but I'm like, Lord, I do not want to tell my business on here. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> we going to get there. Listen. This level requires faith. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all straight up. When my car got repossessed just this week, I wasn't even mad. I literally had so many things in that car um, that I had just purchased, like washing powder, toothpaste. Um, it, it was so much stuff. Baskets for clothes, because I'm giving away clothes. Like, I'm giving away huge amounts of clothes because God told me to just get my clothes away. This is a testimony. This is a testimony. Don't, don't get quiet. Don't click off. This is a testimony. And so, I mean, over $130 worth of not just stuff, not makeup, not hair, not weave. Like, no, I'm talking like stuff you need. Soap. <laughs> like, um, all of that was in the car. Car got repossessed. And some of y'all not going to believe this. But God, it went nobody. But God, God, God spoke to me. He said, let that car go. Let that car go. Let it go. I'm looking like, okay. That's just what time I'm on now. And my family do, do, do not understand it. I am in a position to where everyone is like, what's going on? What is she doing? I don't know. Ask God. Because I only know what he reveals to me. And he told me to let that car go. And it, listen, this level requires faith. Faith in the unknown. You can't get to it and then be scared and be like, oh. No, you got to keep pressing. This is encouraging you. The enemy wanted me to walk around with my head down and be ashamed. I'm not going to be ashamed of that. I can't take no car to heaven with me. And just like God blessed me with that one, I'll get blessed with another one. I'm not pressed about that. Because when God wants all of you, he's going to make sure that he gets all of you one way or another. I posted something on my Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at the Jesuspreneur. I posted a note on my Instagram and it said 10 times out of 10, what God tells you will not make sense to you. What God tells you to do, it will not make sense to you. But you will always have peace. You will have peace that it, it don't even make sense. Like, why do I have all this peace? I don't listen. I I have I have never been in this state of not controlling my life for the past. This is a testimony. I need you to listen. This season of my life, if I could write a book about it, it would be called I Lost Control to Give It All to God. I lost it all to give it to God. I lost all control to give it to God. I said, God, you in control of my life. You provide for me. You take me to where I need to go. You make sure that I don't go where I don't need to be. I only go where you call me. Like, even when I try to step out and do something on my own will, you're like, Zoop, let me get you back to where I've called you to be. Not to where these people want you to be, but to where I've called you to be. And the best way to hear God is to get by yourself. 
And so I'm like, God, this season of my life, it's, it's faith. It's faith. You have to trust that God is going to put a super on your natural. This is long form content. Nothing that God does, nothing about God is short. The Bible says he's omnipotent, he's omnipresent, he's alpha and omega. If God is alpha and omega, the beginning and the end, then there's no end to him. So we got to break out of this brainwashed, quick self-gratification world that, that this society, that Western civilization is, has trained your mind to think. Long form, longer form content is where it's at. Because whether you believe it or not, this is educational. This is informational. You're learning something here. You're learning something that's not here today, going tomorrow. You're, you're learning some, some tools and principles that's here for you, with you for the rest of your life. Like at one point, at a, a certain point, you got to say, God, I'm finna stop trading my soul in. And I'm finna start feeding it. Because to the quick little gratification, you trading your soul in to different stuff. And the devil is happy. The devil laughing. But God said, will you trust me? Will you trust me? Even if you can't trust, trust me, I'm here to let you know. God said that this level of your life uh, is going to require faith and faith alone. Only faith. Come on. I, I need you to put that in the comment section. Say only faith. Yes, you. Stop what you're doing right now and comment. And say only faith, only faith, only faith, only faith, only faith, only faith, only faith. I want y'all to break the comment section. Only faith. I want y'all to break that share button. Let somebody know that, listen, they need to be reassured and reminded that they're not in the same position that they were in. You are in a new position. You are a new person. You're going to know if this word is for you because your habits have been changing. You've been desiring to eat differently. You've been desiring to watch different things on television. You're tired of doing the same thing all the time. You think that started with you? No, that's God doing something down on the inside of you. And so you have to get excited and know that God, whatever you tell me to do, I, I'm going to do it in faith. I'm not looking for recognition from people because I know whose eyes are on me. I know who's looking at me. I know who's making sure that God is making sure that the words and the promises that God spoke over you are going to perform and do. Listen, in order for them to perform and do, you have to have faith. That means you have to walk into a line. Listen, you have to have faith that God is going to do it. Because you're at a very pivotal position. You've pressed your way through and you've opened the door. But now you're standing. It's this little piece. You're standing at the section between the place where the door opens and the space on the other side of the door. So you got to make a decision. Because you can't go back. My God. I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. She had that kid about soya. Nobody told me the road would be easy and I don't believe he brought me this far to leave here. Oh, you just can't give up now. You've come. God brought you this far to leave you. God says, focus on me and focus on what I'm doing right now. Focus on what's ahead of you. Focus on what's right in front of you. When God says ahead of you, he means what's in front of you. You've been thinking too far ahead. You don't know the plans for that. 
Yes, God will show you something to give you hope. Yes, we know that Jesus is coming back again, but the Bible says we don't know the, the second, the day, the, the minute, or the hour. It's going to come like a thief in the night. That means that why you could be while you sleep, could be when you don't expect it, could be when you're not paying attention. You're not going to know. So you have to be very intentional about God, my next step. Help me with my next step. I need faith for my next. faith for my next step wherever you tell me to walk or wherever you tell me to step however you tell me to move i need faith for my next step i need faith for my next step wherever you tell me to go wherever you tell me to leave however you tell me to lead i need faith for my next step god my next step i need faith for my next step shante kodi amasi God just told me to purchase something. And I'm like, God, I don't know how, but I got faith it's going to happen. Um, and I'm even seeing it manifest right here. I see it in the spirit. So I'm going to have to purchase this and I'm going to have to purchase this fast. Um, but yeah, this, this new level, it comes with so much revelation. And so I just... I don't know if anyone have told you today, but I want to be the first person to tell you that I'm so proud of you for staying surrendered, staying submitted, staying committed, and not quitting. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of your soul. <laughs> I'm so happy that God chose you to be one of the souls that are still here pressing on. Um, so there's a prophetic word that God gave me concerning the North, the North, the United States of North. There are going to be fires. There's going to be a fire and this fire represents God's judgment. Okay, God is bringing judgment upon his people. And there are individuals that are set to die in this fire and they have not given their life to Christ. And so if you're watching this and you're not selfish with your prayers or your time, and if you're watching this and you are an intercessor, whether you're an intercessor for your state, whether you're an intercessor within someone else's ministry, whether you're an intercessor within your local church, whether you're an, an intercessor in your national um, denomination, whether you're an intercessor in your household, whomever, however, I need the intercessors praying. This is a call of prayer for intercessors, and I'm I'm switching over to another video to another um, segment in this word. But we're praying for mercy. We're praying that God will extend time, extend grace through extending time. And that God will allow supernaturally for these fires to not take place, but for the media to notice that these fires did not take place. Okay. And so when it gets published in the media about how the fire should have happened, it should have killed, it, all of these things should have happened um, electrically and it didn't. We're praying and we're worshiping and we're going to celebrate Handoku and praise in advance with Jubilee that people will see in the spirit people that maybe never even profess their life to God, Christ or their love for God. But supernaturally, there's going to be something that's released in, uh, through from the heaven realm and God's going to give them sight. And they're going to be able to notice better than some Christians, but they're going to be able to notice these people who God are saving their souls because of the intercessors praying for mercy. They're going to be able to see once this is uploaded in the media. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen fast. And so, um, thank you, Holy Spirit. And so when these things take place, these people, these individuals, these souls are going to see it. And what's going to happen is they're going to re recognize that that was God's grace and that they need to give their life to God. 
because God's grace, although it's extended, it can also be shortened. And so we need the intercessors praying. Come on. Come on, I need you to open up your mouth and I need you praying in your heavenly language. Come on, go ahead and just plant these seeds. I've been in prayer concerning this. And so we're praying, we're praying, we're praying. But listen, continue to go in prayer. Listen, I'm going to close this video because I could be on here for another God knows what time. I'm going before the Lord. And so I just, I want you guys, intercessors, I need you all praying, praying, praying that God will put out the fires um, up north. And so that, not that they'll just be put out, but why? So that souls will be saved. So that souls will recognize, wow, that was the grace of God. That was the grace from God's judgment. Good. Judgment day is coming, people of God. And the Lord is looking for a bride without a stain or a wrinkle. That's who's looking for it. It's church. And we are all a part of that body. We are not separate. We are all a part of the body. Listen, this, this word is, is not for everyone. This channel is not for everyone. This channel is for individuals whom God has called, okay? God has called you to stay submitted and surrendered to God so that you can live an abundant, a powerful, and a bold life full of freedom. I'm telling you, it's, listen, it's a life full of freedom. And so... God loves you so much. I love you. I do. God loves you first, best, and most. Um, there is no greater love than the love of God. No greater love than this. He will give his life for his friends. Um, for God so loved the world that, that he gave his only begotten son. I am in a supernatural overflow right now. So you guys um, that are in the soul family, y'all know I'm just, I get stuck in this realm in the spirit and it's just like I'm so full. And I just want to stay here. But receive the word of the Lord. This level requires faith. God is showing you that it's time for your faith to go to the next level. And so if you are ready to go to the next level, just say, I'm all in. Comment in the comment section and make that declaration and say, I'm all in. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Our soul family is growing by the day. Literally by like... The hour, our soul family is growing. And we want more of God's glory on YouTube. We want more of God's glory in Africa, in Detroit, in Michigan, in Asia, in the Philippines, in uh, Cuba, in Sweden, in Ireland. We want more of God's glory all over the earth, in every nation, in Africa, Europe, Asia, Antarctica, North America, South America. Um, Australia and we bless God for you I bless God for each and every one of you oh my God God bless you for those of you that have been given to the ministry that have been sowing into what God is doing in the ministry in my life um through the business through the brand through the ministry through the God is just doing a lot and sometimes it's so big you know it's so big it's bigger than me i want you to know that it's bigger than me and so i really appreciate you i appreciate you i appreciate the comments i appreciate you know because the devil wants me on here doing something else but when i rededicated my life to christ in september and just and began to experience deliverance in different ways and in different realms the first time that God delivered me from something it it was just me and God like God really delivered me from it and I I just I thank God that God continues to show me that he he does a thing in me first and it's not because of me and I I really hate saying the word me even when I'm writing in my journals I use the lowercase I sometimes and God is reminding me like you're worthy and so I want to let you know that the person you're watching this and you need to know that you're worthy. You're worthy of God's love. You are worthy. You travail worthy. When you pray, you, you think God just listen to anybody. Listen, God, the prayers of the righteous avail as much. You're righteous to God. You're righteous. You're made righteous. You're created. Ah, that's a whole nother teaching. All right, listen, I love you all so much. See, God loves you first, best, and most. And... I will see you in the next video. All right. Take care.